I have this new product, Easy Genie here, a large print two-sided family group sheets for genealogists. This is one of my products. Um, it's just been launched. And as you can see, there's no reviews. It says, in fact, there's a link here, be the first to review this item. And this is natural for anybody who launches a new product. You won't have reviews at first. But as I've always said in my videos and in my book, you should try to do things honestly and uh, you know above board, not try to cheat the system, not try to buy fake reviews. Uh, not ask your relatives to review the stuff that you've uh, just posted. And fortunately, Amazon actually makes it easy to get early reviews for your products. And here's how it works. Uh, just keep in mind that this is something that requires an Amazon seller account and also the professional level account. This is my account. And in order to access the special program to get reviews, you will need a professional level Amazon seller account. Those are currently, I think, about $40 per month. When you go to your home page in Amazon Seller, you will see a bunch of tabs at the top. You want the one that says Advertising Early Reviewer Program. Click that. Okay, so here is the enrollment dashboard for um, the programs, the, the uh, products that I have in this program. And you can actually see there's quite a few of them, including things like books. Uh, these are these are all my brands. These are these are books that my company publishes or things that my company publishes. In many cases, they're trademark products. Some of them don't have any reviews uh, yet, uh, either from customers or through this program. And actually, I should mention that the early reviewer program. If you do get a review, for instance, this particular product here, I've gotten three reviews uh, for this. These are from legitimate customers. And I'm assuming what happens is when you sign up a, pro, a product in this particular program, Amazon, I think, will pro, is more likely to prompt them to give a review. And then they'll charge you for it. And you can see I've been charged $60 for this. But I've been able to get this product launched, I think, about six or nine months ago. So I've been able to get some reviews already on it, which is great. The other ones, I have not been so successful. But I figure that by enrolling in this program, this gives me a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a head start on that because if you don't do something like this you just have to wait until customers you know happen to uh, decide to review it on their own or uh, sometimes Amazon they'll they'll prompt uh, they'll prompt customers to review a product but I think this particular program the early reviewer program it helps you do it much more quickly so let's get started to get a new product to get a new product in this program it says submit SKU to enroll SKU this is like the product number that you assign the product when you create it. Um, and these are all my products. All of them have uh, SKUs. Some of them might be uh, a, a SKU that you've created. Like these are, these are SKUs that I generate. Um, but you can also, sometimes Amazon generates SKUs for products as well. So this is a book that I have. It has an, it has an ASIN as well as an ISBN, but it, Amazon also generates a, a SKU for it. And you can find the SKU by going to your inventory, manage inventory. And then there's a column here that says SKU. So even if you don't remember what the SKU is or you never assigned one, Amazon assigned one for you and you can copy the SKU right here. So this is an Amazon assigned SKU. This is one that I created myself, another one I created myself. So let's go back to that program, advertising and uh, early reviewer program. And the product that I want to, actually, let's just take a look here. The product that I want to um, get, this, get enrolled in the program is this one right here. So I'm going to copy the SKU, go back to Advertising, Early Reviewer Program, and then Submit SKU to Enroll. I just copied it. Check Eligibility. Okay, here it is. Zero reviews. Um, and it will say here, fees charged today, $0. Total fees charged upon first review submission, $60. So they explain, no charge if you don't receive a review. Total program fees cover up to five reviews. That means you pay $60, you can get up to five reviews. So this is actually pretty good. If you, act, if you actually get that many reviews, um, you know, you're, just, you're, you're basically paying a little bit over $10 per review, like $12 per review. It covers an entire SKU variation family. Um, and this doesn't apply to me, but if you have a SKU with, with variations, it will work with that. Um, you, can't, you can't modify, enrolled products can't be modified, so that's something to keep in mind, and no cancellations or, or refunds. Well, I want to do this. This is very helpful to me. So I'm going to enroll in program. And 
it says SKU successfully enrolled in the program in the view on the dashboard. So let's go take a look at that. Yeah, and here it is. It's already showed up there. It shows the enrollment date. Now, one thing I want to clear up, it's not going to result in instant reviews. And very importantly, you have to sell the product. So if the product's not selling at all, and uh, no one's buying it, then Amazon doesn't have anybody to prompt in order to get a review. And it's kind of a catch-22 because, of course, people are more likely to buy the product if there are reviews. So this is where you have to start to use your own marketing knowledge to get more sales. Um, this could be, and also by adjusting the levers that you have available in front of you to make a product more attractive to customers. And that could be, uh, for instance, discounting it, offering a, offering a sale using Amazon's tools, or using Amazon at advertising to get more attention on that particular pro on that particular uh, product. And then the other thing you can use are Amazon's other advertising assets. For instance, one very good way to get more visibility for your products is to set up coupons. This is a pretty low cost way uh, to basically make your product show up a little bit more prominently in Amazon search results. There's like a little banner that says there's a coupon associated with it. But of course, you're going to lose a little bit of money because it's a coupon. But on the other hand, you know, if you start getting more sales for the product, um, then with in, because you're using the early reviewer program, uh, it's more likely to get for customers to be reminded to leave a review and then you can get a legitimate review. And this is by real customers who have bought your product and uh, hopefully they like it and they can leave a review. For more advice on how to get the most out of your Amazon